it's time to kill your uh, your gaming headsets. They pretty much all suck, except a couple here and there. But by and large, gaming audio is just a mess. So I brought in Tyler again. All right, the thing I don't understand is just like, why do all of these gaming headsets sound so bad? Like, what's wrong with them? Right, so what gaming companies have to do is they have to combine uh, two products in one. They have to combine both a headphone and a microphone into one product. Right. Uh, what that happens is sometimes they have to compromise on the build quality or the audio quality or the mic quality or even the cable, something. Yeah. They have to compromise on something, and we don't want compromises. We want uh, our quality. We want the best bang for a dollar. Um, right. And and most of it, too, is sometimes marketing. Yeah. Uh, they have to waste money on marketing. It's not like the high-end the high -end audio community where there's a lot of word of mouth, you know, like people go on forums and all that sort of thing. With gamers, a lot of times I feel like they respond to marketing, and you guys need to stop doing that. I mean... I want the companies to stop, you know, marketing snake oil out there. And the best way to make them stop is to show them that their stupid marketing tactics are ineffective. So we're going to help you guys out by sharing some personal experiences we've had with a few different products uh, and just, you know, letting you guys know what we think gives you a much better sound uh, experience, audio experience right. for the money. There are a couple products out there, uh, gaming handsets, that actually are okay. And this is one of them right here. It's the HyperX Cloud from, uh, well, Kingston makes it, but it's HyperX Cloud. Uh, that one actually sounds pretty good. It's a bit muddy, and it's uh, in, in the bass area, especially the lower mids also, it's a bit muddy. Unless you amplify it. When you amplify it, it's magically better. But they're using biodynamic technology. It's the Q-pad. It's basically it's, it's a rebranded yeah. rebranded Q-pad, really. Uh, the mic sounds okay on those as well. But um, the, also the SteelSeries 9H, I think, sounds really good. It's really clean sound. But those, both of those are closed. Right. And we'll explain that in two seconds and they are both way more than what we are going to talk about right now. So the first thing I wanna talk about is uh, closed versus open. And most gaming headsets out there are closed, like these Monoprice here. The so closed headphones, um, it's basically what it sounds like. Um, there is some kind of plastic or something in between your ears and the outside world. Yeah. Um, and all it does is it basically just cancels out the noise. If the noise can't get to your ears, then it's closed. Um, the opposite of that is open. Um, there's someone, there's a middle one that's uh, semi-open. Semi-open, yeah. Which is basically still open. Um, it's kind of a weird category, but uh, regardless, basically two choices, you have open and closed. Um, closed, like I just said, is that there's something blocking the sound going out from your ear and going in from your ear. Um, so, you know, if you've got a loud environment um, where you want to block out the noise or vice versa, where you don't want noise to get out, um, you want to use a pair of closed headphones. Yeah, the only time I can ever justify using a pair of closed headphones is when you're in an environment where you're having a hard time hearing because people are yelling, there's someone's throwing a cat across the room. You know, right. if, if you live in this place, then you need closed. Otherwise, you want open because open has a much larger soundstage. Now, a soundstage, really, just a quick way to uh, explain this is it's the perceived audio environment that you're in. How big is the soundstage? And with open headphones, it sounds a lot bigger and it sounds a lot cleaner and the positional audio is there because the soundstage is bigger. You can be like, oh, there's birds behind me. Oh, there's a guy over there. Oh, someone's running. You can actually hear where things are. I've found that in games that have good audio, you know, games that have, do a good job with their audio, uh, some games have head, headphone mode. Yep. It sounds to me way better than simulated surround sound, which is just software. It's, it's two software. speakers, you got two ears, so let's do it right. All right, first thing that I want to talk about here are these closed Monoprice headphones that everyone keeps recommending. Let me bring them up here on the on the web. Now, everyone keeps recommending these. Uh, they are closed, like we just said, and as far as the sound quality goes, they have bass, they have treble, they have mids. It's kind of whatever to me. They, there. They're not as analytical or whatever as most people think. Um, Decent bass, sloppy mids. They're cheap, they're closed, they sound better than most gaming headphones or headsets. And they have removable, micro, or removable cables. So yeah, removable if, cable. If your cat keeps eating your cable, that might be a good thing to have. Yeah. Um, but if you don't care about that, then... So that's the mono price. And the build quality is okay for the money. I mean, decent pads on top. They weren't too uncomfortable. Clamping factor is... For big heads, like... Him and I, we have it kind of hurts after yeah, a while. after a little while, and the the depth on the inside here, your ears do hit this, so they do get uncomfortable after a little while. I don't like them, but I can say that if uh, it's you're, an option. yeah, it's, it is an option, and uh, you know I would take this over most gaming uh, headsets out there. I'm getting my choice. Uh, this is the uh, HD 
um, uh, 668B from Superlux. And uh, they make these in all different sizes. If you go online and look at all the different Superlux they have them, and they've made these in like several different fits and, and, and finishes. And, and these have the, the wings on top, yeah. and, like the Audio Technica, but they don't work nearly as well as the Audio Technica. They're decently comfortable. I watched a movie with these not long ago. Sounded good. Uh, and the cable. Also, again. removable cable. Yep. Yeah. Now, the thing about these, see the side there, completely open. And, uh, I mean, when you put them on, you can pretty much have a conversation. If you're playing at, like, a moderate volume, you can have a conversation with somebody in the room and still hear them and whatever you're doing at the same time. Now, these are kind of notorious on the Internet for being just, like, treble blasters. You know, is that, is that even a thing? Treble, treble, treble like, spiky. Treble, treble like razor blades. Uh, these, the 668Bs, are much better than the other ones. Uh, the 681s, those are the ones that are really, really strong on the treble. And then here's the uh, 668B. So you're paying 10 bucks more uh, to get a smoother experience with the high end. It's yeah. a much smoother treble, but it's still these things are really bright headphones. But they also they have a decently flat frequency response curve, so you get clean audio throughout. They, they sound phenomenal for their price. Um, if if yeah. you if the 10 bucks is really gonna kill you, um, then I would stick with the lower end model. But if you can like dig through the couch and like find. Ten dollars. Yeah. Um, this is the headphone I'd recommend for anything under fifty dollars. Um, I really don't like closed uh, headphones for gaming. I could almost use these as a daily driver if I didn't have, you know, if I really, really, really couldn't afford anything else. These would be just fine with me. Right. And you know, after you get some money, one thing, another thing I like about these is um, if, you, if you see these pads here, these look very familiar. Uh, they're, they're very, very universal almost. If you get like the AKG pads, they will fit on here. You can get like velour pads and they'll fit right on here. It pretty much doubles the price. But you know, if you get these and you like the way they sound and then like you get some more money later on, you'd be like, oh, you know what? I can make these a lot more comfortable. Yeah, so pads help a lot with both audio quality sometimes and with comfort. Especially yeah. if you're playing games for a long period of time. Right. I mean, we're gamers. We sit around and play games for six hours. So. Right. All right, uh, other things to recommend here. We've got some, uh, some Sennheiser products. Don't actually have these here, but you've used these. Uh, there's open and closed models on these as well. Oops, there's the uh, the closed model. Now, um, I mean, this is an option. A lot of people love the Sennheiser sound. Yeah, audio is very subjective. Most people like Sennheiser. I'm part of the few that don't. So, but you should like the the Sennheiser. These are the lower end models. You basically have a choice between closed and open. Um, the four one nines are closed, and I think the four two nines or the four three nines are open. Um, again, open is better. I think it's the same thing, like another 10 bucks more. Yeah. Um, I would definitely go for the uh, open if you can. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to be weird here. And I, I've, I've listened to these, and I do think that the Superlux has a slightly cleaner sound, but the, the uh, Sennheiser does have better bass response mm -hmm. in this price range. So if bass is more important to you than clarity and treble, then maybe lean toward the Sennheiser. All right, so moving right along here. Yeah, so if, if you keep breaking your headphones, if you have a problem with like going through like three or four headsets a year, um, this is a great option for you. Uh, the Superlux headphones sound a little bit better um, than this model, but yeah, the, these California headphones um, are- Where are those things? These things are made out of real leather. What uh, the hell, real man? Real aluminum. Um, the case that it comes in is made out of leather. It, it's gonna take some force to break these. Dude, they have to be losing money on this. These things are tough. Yeah, I don't know how they're making money on these. Um, they've got, I'm pretty sure the real leather pads, don't quote me on that, but um, they are closed, so not the greatest for gaming. Um, they close a lot. <laughs> it probably hurts. Just box my ears, yeah. <laughs> um, but if you, ever, if you want durability for under 50 bucks, I don't think there's a better option. Yeah, and these do sound pretty good. I mean, yeah. again, they do sound slightly muddier, and they are closed. Yeah, but, but and, I, and removable cable. And well. when I put them on and play music, I yell. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. If, if you need closed headphones and you and you and you're not very nice to your headphones, then those are probably a good option. Yeah, if you got a bunch of kids around who are gonna break things and throw things, or animals that are gonna pick them up, those are tough. Yeah, and they they were 170 like a year ago, and then it just went on sale for 50 and never came off sale. So whenever you're watching this, I'm, I can't guarantee you they're going to be 50 still, um, but they've been on $50 for like a year now. So yeah. I would get them if you can, because they're a fantastic deal for the price. All right, let's talk about earbuds, because a lot of people, they, do, they, they think about gaming heads as they totally just forget about earbuds, but there are some earbuds out there that have pretty decent sound quality. Uh, they're relatively cheap, and there's uh, there's also microphone options right. for that. So you guys can game with earbuds on and get by just fine. 
Uh, they probably won't have as quite as open of a soundstage, but some right. of them are pretty remarkable as far as their soundstage right. goes. So, all right, first off, this is your choice. This is, this is my recommendation. What, what the hell? Yeah, this is actually one of the only two what products the from Apple I'll ever <laughs> recommend. Um, it's the, if anyone's wondering, it's the other, their Apple AC router that they make. Um, it's one of a really good router, but anyway, this is the uh, these are the ear pods that come with uh, anything I think from the iPhone 5 and up. Yeah, whatever you've experienced before from an Apple ear product, uh, this is completely different. Um, they are actually open sounding. If you notice on the picture, there's actually a little slit um, on both the inside and the outside. Uh, it's not completely closed. You can still hear it when people talk to you. Um, I'm, it's not a, it's not like an open headphone, but it's something that's not completely closed. Just helping it so that the, I guess the, the it's more with the bass. The frequencies bouncing yeah. around in there are right. not going to just keep bouncing around and create a muddy sound, I yeah. guess. Yeah, and, uh, and it comes with a mic. So um, the only thing you'll need for a computer um, is this little splitter cable to split from the four pole to the three pole. Um, that's a little expensive. You can probably find one on eBay for like a dollar. But We're still under 50 bucks though. De yeah, definitely, yeah. The, and the thing is with those, if you do end up buying these, um, buy them from Apple. Uh, there's so many fakes around and the fakes are terrible. I bought a pair by accident. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, and it was awful. Um, so get them from Apple, go to an Apple store, just put it like a coat on so no one sees you. All right, we, we text, this, I think this is the first time that anyone on Tech Syndicate has ever told anybody else to go into an Apple store. So we just told you guys to go into an Apple store. Is that, that's kind of like saying go to hell on our forum. Yeah, you know? I'm sorry. But like I said, the only two products I'll recommend from Apple um, are the EarPods and, and the router. So, But um, I, I'm actively saying that these are actually good um, headphones. Bass is, of course, boosted because you know people want bass. But the other frequencies are actually quite decent and they aren't uncomfortable. Um, if, if anyone's ever used a stock pair, a stock pair of uh, Apple headphones before the EarPods, um, after about an hour, your ears want to bleed. It's terrible, but yeah. the EarPods, you could probably wear them for like four or five hours and be okay. Um, yeah, they don't look the mo like the most comfortable thing ever, but you know. Yeah. And, and people, uh, if, if people have problems with in-ear monitors, that might also be an option because um, they they're don't they not in-ear. They fit in, around your ear, kind of like the old uh, Apple uh, earphones. So yeah. um, it's an option. All right, let's move on and talk about something really cheap. We're going to totally cheap out and talk about the Panasonic RPH-JE120K. Yeah, these are like seven dollars or eight dollars in that price range. You get all these different color options here. You know, that's pretty much the main function and feature is that you get all these color options. Now, with this, you're still going to have to buy some sort of a microphone, um, and they also have a decent sound. But in order to get the bass, you're going to have to mash them into your ears pretty hard. Uh, they're one of those ones that you'll, they sound better when you do this. Yeah. Uh, they don't sound amazing, guys. They're like eight dollars, and they sound better than some things that are fifteen, twenty dollars, but. Yeah, They're eight if, bucks. if you need something and you don't have a lot of money, yeah. we've all been there. Um, I mean, just go sell, go outside and sell someone else's stuff. Like anything yeah. that's outside, that, that's what you guys really need to do. We, need, we should be coaching you guys on how to make money <laughs> to buy the better headphones. That's, that's what we really yeah. should be doing. Go outside and just find random stuff that's there, a car sitting in a parking you know, space, and sell it to somebody for like a hundred bucks. There you go. Yeah, easy. Uh, the Brainwave. So now these um, have a very good build quality. They're a little more expensive, but still, thirty-nine bucks is not bad. Uh, and these are these have you know really decent sound quality. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you can buy these on Amazon or not, but MP4Nation.net uh, is where you get those. Right. I believe they own Brainwaves. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think that they're the home base or website for Brainwaves. You have a few of these, right? Yeah. Um, and it's free shipping. I believe they come from Japan or China. Um, it takes a while, but it is free shipping. All right, uh, what else do we have to talk about here? About time to talk about some microphones. Oh no, these are these are overpriced, but again, so were the other big ones. I, I just want to give these guys a, a, a shout out really quick. The Austri uh, KC06. These things are some in-ear monitors that I reviewed a while back, and they have really clean sound, like just really, really clean sound. They sound better than some of the $200 uh, stuff that I've listened to in the past. I mean, they just, they sound so freaking good, but they're, over budget a little bit so if you got a little bit more money look at those because they're the best in-ear monitors that i've found for the 50 dollars around the 50 dollars price range and they sound as good as some of the 200 dollars things out there so not bad it's all about options we're giving you options yeah so. giving you guys a lot of stuff to think about all right now let's talk about microphones here now the the, the most simple most ridiculous silly thing you guys can do 
is get like the Cyber Acoustics ACM 51. It sounds okay. Frankly, I think these things sound about as good as some of the microphones on gaming headsets. Some of the freaking headsets, I mean, even some of the stuff from like companies like Razer and Turtle Beach and stuff, sounds so shitty. Yeah. Like, what in the hell? <laughs> it's probably that microphone. It's probably that thing just taped to it. Yeah. Like, oh, we didn't do any research, just taped that thing on the side. Yeah. This, this sounds better than some of that stuff. I mean, of course, you, it's 99 cents, but you're going to pay like 5 or $6 shipping, you know, like, whatever. But there it is. It goes on your desk. Um, the one downside of putting things on the desk is it's going to get a lot of bass response whenever you hit the desk, and you're going to hear the keyboard a lot. But it's if a you dollar. Have a keyboard. If, you, if you have a uh, regular dome keyboard, you should be okay. You'll hear the pops a little. Yeah. But my, if you have a mechanical keyboard, I probably would stay away with, uh, from desk microphones. Yeah. Um, but hey, if you have like absolutely no money and you want to game and you want to have a microphone, yeah, if you need to talk to somebody. Yeah, yeah. And these will work with earbuds because you know they're whatever. So there's that. Um, next thing we got to talk about is the Zalman ZM Mic One. It's a famous Zalman mic. Now, a good thing right is here. Um, now if if you this is all around the world. If you go to any your local Amazon country or your country's Amazon, <laughs> your uh, Amazon country is that what, is <laughs> yes, that what we've come in the world? Be like, uh, do you live in an Amazon country? <laughs> no, no, I live in a, a, a country that has off weird generic only, only stores. eBay. Yeah, eBay um, only. But this, you should be able to. I don't care where you're in the world. You should be able to find these. Um, I believe it's nine dollars in your local currency. Like it's nine euros or nine dollars or. It's almost it's just like almost yeah. a universal price. Um, and this is basically the uh, universal microphone suggestion uh, that I make. Um, it just clips on your your headphone or your headphone cable. Yeah. Um, now these things, I want to mention that this is it, it can be a little bit heavy on a pair of earbuds. Yeah. Because it's like pulling on your ear. You have to clip it on a good pair of headphones or something like that, or you know, like even these mono price or the super or whatever. Clip it onto the cord here, and you position it correctly. Um, it's also off to the side, so you're not going to get any pops and you don't all need that. A pop filter you don't need like a pop filter. Yeah, exactly. You don't need any fuzzy whatever. It doesn't sound amazing, mm -mm. but it, it works, and it sounds okay. I think it sounds again as good as some gaming headset microphones yeah, with, out there. With microphones, honestly, as long as it works and people can hear you clearly, you're not broadcasting a YouTube channel or Twitch, so it's not incredibly important I, I, at least me personally i'm more worried about what i hear versus what other people hear as long as they can hear me clearly but that's maybe i'm selfish but that's just, just the way just I getting think. your tactics down and yeah stuff. yeah um if you do care a little bit more about sound quality then you should look at this it's the blue microphone snowflake um and it, it has way better sound quality it gives you much more full sound this is, what I, voice. Use, this is what I use personally in my house um i use a pair of headphones and this is what i use um, now the thing is, I have a mechanical keyboard. Um, I use browns, so they're not as bad as blues or reds or anything like that. Um, but what I do is, I'll actually, that's actually meant to stick on your monitor. Right. Um, and you're supposed to put that on your monitor, that little lip thing over your monitor and point it at you. Uh, what I actually do is I actually stick it behind my monitor, um, so my monitor is in the way of the microphone, and that's like my, my pop filter, I guess. <laughs> so but ghetto, man. It, it works. <laughs> <laughs> hide your, hide your, well, I guess it is, as long as it works and it yeah. picks you up pretty good. I will say that this one does pick up a lot more of the room tone. Right. It does pick up a lot more of the background noise. This is not a noise-canceling solution. So, you know, if you want to stream, then you probably should have something more like this. It gives you a better sound, but you should also have an environment that's, that's conducive yeah. to your streaming. Just create your own environment, man. Make your own little world yeah. out there. Not your mom yelling at you because you didn't do the dishes. So do the freaking dishes and yeah. then go game. The Uber option, and we'll talk about this in our upcoming video, where we, you know, we're going to get a little bit more expensive with these guys and do them, do them right. But the Uber option right here is the Antlion Mod Mic, and this is what you get when you sit down and say, "Hey, listen, we are going to make one specific product to do exactly what gamers want, and that is, you know, good. They're going to make a good microphone for games and let, allow them to clip it to any pair of headphones out there." Uh, again. This product is more expensive, but if you know money's no option, and you just want the best quality, you will probably buy like uh, something like this. You know, if money's no option, this yeah. is the AT uh, 2020 from Audio Technica, and I've got this little $15 arm. That's the best option. But if you want a clip-on mic, there you go. And these guys ship worldwide too, and I don't think it's too expensive. I think it's like $15 if you live outside of the U.S. So yeah, so Antlion Mod Mic. Let us know what you guys are doing. Um, we're going to be doing a couple more videos with you know higher priced options, 
And uh, yeah, we'll also be doing some headphone videos as well. There's going to be some crossover in the headphone video, but I want to make sure that people who watch the headphone video and not this video also see our recommendations for all the different price points as far as headphones go. So stay tuned for all those videos. See you in the next one. Yeah, see you.